Hello everyone and welcome back to Computer Bytes. My name is Aoyemi Victor and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, a terminal on your Android phone gadget or device. So um, if you are a startup developer or you are a programmer and you are looking to install terminal or something like a command prompt on your Android device this video is for you so if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and let's get started so um as you can see on my screen here this is my terminal i'm on a samsung device so um this is the terminal and if i should press something like ls you can see it links uh listed on my files and my folders so i can install package here like uh apt package install or pkg install x11 dash repo uh as you can see it's, insta it's installing the repository and everything so how can you achieve this and how can you set up your terminal on your android gadget so the first thing you have to do is to uh, go to this GitHub repository. So I'm going to show you the repository here. So it is called Thermos App. So this is the repository, um, Thermos App. So this is the application. So you can go through, I will leave the link in the description of the video as well. So you can go through all the uh, readme files here so here you'll be able to well, scroll down and find this f, f droid so this f, f droid is the application which you are going to use to download the thermos application on your android gadget so all you have to do is to come here click on you see thermos application can be obtained from f droid from here so just click on this link here and then it will take you to the website where you can download the Thermos app as the uh, the package file. So once you are able to download that, then you will be able to install the Thermos. So um, I can open my F Droid here, and as you can see, if you open it, you can search for Thermos. So you see, this is how the home page will look like. Then search for Thermos here. So you can search for Thermos here. Then you can see these are some of the Thermos uh, applications and some add-ons as well. But the best option is to install it directly through this application. So you can see through this website. So from here you can um, you can download the application. So this is the download F Droid here. So just click on the download F, F Droid. Then I already have it installed. So uh, I'm not going to download it again. So once you download it, install the the uh, the package on your on your mobile device, and then you'll be able to have access to something like this. Then from there, you'll be able to install the Thermos application. So once you are able to install it, then you have the command prompt here. So you can install all your package, you can update it, um, you can press ls, if I want to make a file, I can type mkdir test, so if I press ls now, you can see the test file is there, I can see the into test, so you can see I'm in the test folder right now, I can use a vim uh, editor, just like a normal Linux uh, terminal. So I can vim uh, testing dot c. So I can write my c file here. Um, I should include stdio.h. I should include stdio.h. Blah blah blah. I can as swear test my file. You can see the terminal. This is how it will look like if you are working on a, if you are working on a Linux machine. So I can press the escape button here and then if I want to save this file on my with my vim colon wq then if I can if I cut 
testing uh you can see this is the file which i just added and this is my the the the, uh, the files which i add i added the other time so you can also test it you can install gcc command you can run your command you can do a lot of stuff here so this is very very powerful most especially for for programmers who are just getting started and uh, maybe you will need to quickly test or run your application you can also set up your GitHub as well uh, i can do something like git clone um https colon gtop.com slash aoyemi victor slash uh maybe i have a uh, gtop file which i want to clone so i can let me quickly open up my gtop and look for a repository from here i can look for one of my repositories files here so i'm going to click on home click on okay so als low level programming so i'm going to copy the link and uh, i'm going to come back here so delete this so i'm going to delete this and then i can i can um click on more and then is there a paste for command there okay so https colon gtop gtop.com slash aoyemi victor slash then um als low level program so als als low level program so i think that's right okay then i can please paste it so clone ELS cannot link executable blah 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 i guess the uh, the command is not actually correct but as you can see you can be able to clone your gtop repository here yeah? so okay i think i have it already here yeah? so i can see the into ls and um, ls low level okay let me go back cd dot dot ls then cd into als low level program you can see ls you can see these are all my folders all the folders let me go let me open it here so you guys can see so if i should click on browse code you can see 0x00 hello world 0x01 so if i come back here you can see same thing as well so if i cd again into 0x00 hello world hello world now if i should press ls you see zero processor one compiler so if i should open this folder from gtop as well you can see zero processor one compiler and then i can uh i can open this uh file cat six size dot c let's see what's inside you can see this is the c program that's inside um i can as well try to run it so i can type gcc gcc six dash gcc c dash c so right now you can see it's giving me details of the issues with my program uh warning format type unsigned long but arguments blah 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 seven highlighting everything just like it's going to look like on a linux machine so this is how you can um set up and run your um a terminal on your android mobile device so if this video has been helpful to you kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and i'm going to see you guys in the next video have a lovely day bye